let's dip back in to Too Many Games 2024 and pluck out an indie spotlight. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team Run TFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. Yeah, that's right. We are back here after a pretty awesome Evercast going over to Evercade Effect to check that out. It was a pretty cool show. Talked about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, of course, you got your super pockets, you got your, all your other stuffs, but it did remind me that, yes, indeed, we've got tons of stuff to talk about still from too many games, and there was one game in particular that I wanted to make a spotlight on, an indie spotlight. So welcome to the Too Many Games 2024 Indie Spotlight right here on Good Times with Retro Rich. And what is that game? That game is called Blinding Light. Yes, we're going to check this one out. I was there at Too Many Games 2024, Friday and Saturday, two days, checking out some of these awesome games. But this one in particular just kind of like reached out and said, hey, you got to check this one out. So <clears throat> I asked uh, beforehand, hey, can I go in? and you know film some stuff you know i'm not going to be amazing at these games it's like nas style platformer kind of thing um jumping around but um i was like all right well you know maybe i could just you know film some footage and like do that kind of thing and they're like oh yeah yeah you know like record all of it you know try to try to get as far as you can um so what is blinding light blinding light is an action adventure platformer that focuses on tight acrobatic platforming venture forth and save the elementals from their capture experience a flowing move set a world brimming with character and a world painted in nes colors from monster crate the developer and publisher of this one it's going to be out on steam first there's going to be a link down below in the description so you can go over to the page for the game and then you can actually check that out and put it on your wish list so why is this an indie spotlight? Well, it's an indie spotlight because I actually like I love these kind of games, these like puzzly platformer kind of things. I haven't actually been a super big fan of them up until the Evercade, you know, where you get games like <clears throat> Tanglewood and you get games like games that are on the Indie Heroes collection. Um or even the Mega Cat Studios collection. Lots of these like independent developed games in the NES style. They all have their, their different feels and stuff. And Blinding Light here has 100% a unique feel. Uh, just in the terms of like how you actually um, navigate the world. It's very, very interesting. There, there is, of course, you've got a jump button. But you don't have like a double jump. So you don't hit the jump button twice. You have a jump button, a kick button, and then a glide button. So in order to get up this hill, for example, right, I'm trying to navigate, I had to do the jump kick, like jump and kick over and over and over again. And then I tried to, to switch switch from the hitting that one button to hitting the glide button so I can get to the next phase. Um, <clears throat> there's a checkpoint system, like right there, you saw the little thing come out. Um, and, uh, you know, I died right there, so I, I was able to start back over um, over by where that that uh, that little checkpoint is. So that, that is the pretty cool that they have those kind of systems there. As you can tell, I'm not uh, super well-versed uh, with the thing, even though it was my second day of play. Um, you know, really, really cool aesthetic. I like the scrolling backgrounds. I like the, the fact that it is a very cool looking um you know world it's very inviting there's lots of really awesome colors um you mentioned before that this is the nes um color palette um you know this does feel like it's you know an advanced nes game right you know something that could be on the nes but maybe i don't know the hard the original hardware probably is not going to pump out some of the stuff that's going on in the background um got a really awesome um, soundtrack. I didn't get to to uh, record any of that because they had headphones and we were on the show floor. So if I were to turn up the volume, everything's super super loud. There's just lots of people like you know like walking around and talking and that kind of thing. So I didn't have any of that uh, for you uh, today. But 
Hopefully, there'll be, I don't know, maybe a demo or when this game finally comes out, we'll be able to check it out by downloading it or whatever. But playing this, I couldn't help but feel that 100% this game not only could be, but I think should be on a cartridge very soon. This thing needs to be seen by the folks over at Blaze um because i just think this is one of those games that fits right alongside um you know your uh, your space goals or your um uh your you know like any of the other stuff like i mean you'll know, see if there's some stuff here like on on indie heroes too i'm trying to look at there um you know cuz i know space goals um was was on was on um oh that was the the morph cat collection um but uh but yeah i mean there's there's tons of different games that that are kind of like like this but not so much and this is a bigger more expansive type of game so maybe not just on an indie heroes collection because i think this game is actually maybe even bigger than most of the games that are going to be on indie heroes collection you know i've played this for 20 something minutes just to get to the first boss um and then try to complete that first boss and there's i think there's like five or six something levels in this thing. So you're going to be playing this for way longer than you would on most indie heroes games. So this could be maybe an always awakening cathedral type of game where the game is so big that it demands being placed aside another indie game. Who knows? Um, I just think that this is one of those games that should be checked out um, and definitely considered for, uh, for release on the system. I had a blast playing this game. Um, I think the the aesthetic is really neat. I think the, the the overall design is really cool. It's really kind of just like neat to see that um, you know you can. There's all these puzzle elements. There's this like you know the the uh, the fact that you know the, you have to use your momentum and your character in order to get things done is really cool. And even when you get towards the end, let me scrub towards the uh, the part where I start dying over and over to the boss. Um, you know, there's like these characters and stuff that, that come around. Um, it's really, really cool. Here we go. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can get to, to this this space here um, where there's all sorts of like fun stuff happening. I mean, it's just like really, really neat. And I was like enthralled enough to want to come back and play this game after the, the fact that I've already played. I already played it once. All right, so I played this game once um, on Friday and then came back and then recorded for 20 straight minutes. You know, I don't do that on games that I don't necessarily consider, um, you know, for, you know, like I, I don't do that for games that I normally just go, oh, yeah, well, it's just a just a game. Um, this is really cool and it definitely hit me. So I was like, all right, you know what? I need to make sure that I'm that I'm going to give this thing the spotlight. So here's the the uh, the dwarf enemy there. I think the sprite on this is it, this guy is really really cool, and um, you know typical boss battle and you know mechanics here. You have to jump and hit the guy on the head, um, but you can't do it while he's like in his super spin mode. He's got a, an axe. He throws the axe like a boomerang. You got to avoid that. There's only so many times you can get hit. I think it's like six if you're at full life. I've only got three. Um, I only got three here, so there's there is that. Um, he's got that thing where he's got like a like a shotgun or something like that. It was like blasting the ground. Um, it's pretty neat. It's like it's definitely it's definitely a neat um, a neat experience. This boss was s silly hard. Um, I wasn't able to get through it uh, in the end. My brother in law, however, was able to get through it. Um, and he was able he was able to complete it, which was pretty awesome for him. But um, but yeah, it's this game is super super cool. Um, the, let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna have this footage. Um, I'm also gonna put a link down below in the description if you want to see just this, the plain footage. I'm gonna do an unlisted video, and I'm just gonna put the link there. You just like you can watch the entire thing if you want. Um, you know, watch all 20 minutes of the footage. I'll put that down there. If you guys want to check that out, but I just think, you know, am I am I wrong about this? Like, you know, let me know down in the comments. 
if you guys are, are watching with me here, is this one of those things where like, oh no, you know what? It might be kind of cool, Rich, but there's no way I wouldn't play this on Evercade or whatever. I, I don't know though. I think I think I I think we found one, guys. I think this one is one of those ones where like, you know what? We should probably get this on a collection or something or a card or something. You know, even if it's like a, you know, I don't even know about an unlockable game or whatever. This thing is pretty substantial, but it's it's super cool. It's super cool. So moving right along here, let me go over here and uh, let's present this uh, this thing here. I'm just going to go to the the blinding light page here on Steam. Um, there it is, right here. It's coming soon. You've got all these different levels. This is the level that we were looking at, like we were playing. Um, here's another another one of these, but then there's different levels. Look here, there's like different backgrounds here. Like, like I don't know if that's like a mine stage or whatever. And there's like, this one looks like it's like underwater. Um, you know, this one is back in the forest. Um, and yeah, I think there's, I think, is there more? No, this is all, this is all, this is all I have uh, for the pictures there. There, there was like a little mini trailer that was running on the back of the TV. I asked to see if I could like, you know, see if I could get the file or whatever and show that. Maybe they'll have that on um, a website or whatever. Maybe there's maybe there's going to be a YouTube channel for them soon to check out. Um, all I got to say, though, is definitely check this one out. Um, it's It was pretty cool, and it was definitely a good find. There was tons of other games on the indie show floor that were really, really cool um, and really an awesome experience just to, like, just go. If you're, if you're in the tri-state area... Um, you know, in the Northeast, in the United States, <clears throat> in June, because they have it every June, and you don't know what to do, and you want to, like, go around and, like, you know, just see tables full of indie games, too many games, 2024, 2025, whatever one you go to, there's going to be a whole bunch of people there. Um, the guys that do, um, what was it? There's a there's a 64 game, a Slime 64, I think it was called, or something like that. They've been working on this thing for forever. They've been there many, many years um you know that they, they always have a table there was that ai game that i was talking about during the unboxing they were they had a table there was that was pretty cool the guys over at bitgen games had a booth on the other side it was actually the um the arcade side of of things didn't get a chance to talk to with them i actually wanted them to take a look at my copy of dragon master because it works in my NES that I have. Like I got a new NES and it works in it, but I just couldn't like actually like, like make it work. I couldn't make it play. It read that there was something on the cart, but I didn't see the game or something. I don't know. I don't know if there's a button combination I need to do or whatever, but you know, I'll see him probably next year, which is fine. Um, but like I said, there's all these different games, but the one that stuck out with me, the one that I had to revisit, the one that I had to play just because I wanted to show everyone, like, hey, look, there's this really cool NES platformer thing. Looking like it's really far along, you know, looking very close to a release, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I, this this game is it, right? So Blinding Light, um, definitely check it out if you're a fan of anything that's in the, the dual cart indie side of Evercade. If you're into those kind of things, definitely check that out. Like I said, link to the Steam page is going to be down below. And a link to the unlisted video um, where it's my entire playthrough of uh, that first level until, of course, the boss where I get annihilated. If you want to check it out some more, please do. Go on down there and check it out. So we are at the end, of course, of another video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. we got to do one thing and one thing only, and that is thank every single member of the Good Times Club. So let's do that right now. Let's thank the Ever-Canadian Crimson Cross, George Games, Chris Westerman, Fan and Fiction, Skeletrex, Lord Archim, Papa Pete, The Intellivision Gamer, Ken LeCure, Mr. Sure, John Willie, Gunsy20, and Immortal Sojourn. Thank you guys all so much for the support, for giving us 1080p StreamYard, which is always appreciated, for helping out even Ed over on Evercade Effect with the Evercast and all of the things he does here in StreamYard. Um, it's awesome, and it all is all because of the GTC. So we totally appreciate that. Want to become a member? Boom, there's a join button there. You can hit the button. You can join us. You get some exclusive videos. You can get all sorts of crazy cool stuff there. Um, plus, um, <clears throat> even if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. Leave likes, leave dislikes, leave comments, leave everything. It's all good over here. And um, we just appreciate you guys coming on by to hang out with us. So 
with all that being said, until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys, and more from 2024's Too Many Games coming very soon. Get ice cream.com.